Not the first one who said that. Alright. Alright. Uh, what role does Coach Asiante play in your life outside practice? Uh, it's like having your, it's like having your dad uh, at the court. So it's like having a dad at best friend and like, I don't know, like an advisor all of the pool, like all of the one. You can talk to him about anything. From girls to school to whatever you want. Like he's the coolest guy I've ever met. Uh, do you think you'd have a harder time being an international student attorney if you didn't play squash? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's no, I have no doubt about, about that. Being on the squash team helps you a lot socially. Um, I don't think I would enjoy being a tribute for hours on the team. Uh, the group makes it so much easier for you not to have to deal with some of the stuff that goes on here. Yeah. Only people like me and not with the 24 guys on the team. So. Why did you pick Trinity over other top ranked squash schools? Uh, well, I don't know, it's a, it has a really good history. Uh, it's very well known now, obviously. It's, they've done well for the last couple of years. And I feel like um, they also offer a lot of financial aid. And that's pure and simple. Pure and simply the biggest reason we get so many good kids to come is because they really to help you so much more financial aid. Um, do you participate in anything else at Trinity? And if you didn't play squash, what would you do? Uh, I'm an RA. I do a lot. I work for building and grounds. I work in the library. Um, I do a couple of other things. But I mean, if I didn't play squash at Trinity, I don't know. It would suck. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, I think maybe I'll have better grades, maybe. Uh, I'd probably try and play rugby. Uh, do you think playing squash affects your academics? Yeah, but I do it. Like I don't do well in school not because of squash. It's my choice. I do okay. Um, I'm probably good GPA. I just could have like I could have like a much better one. I could be like a three eight or something, and I'm not. Uh, but it's fine. I'm, just, I'm having the total college experience, and I just I'd hate to be the one who leaves school. Uh, with the 4.0, I've never had fun at the school, you know, who knows, maybe 20 people, I got hit up there, but I have completely experienced. Do you think about the streak, or is it something you try to keep out of your mind when you're playing? You don't think about the streak, coach doesn't need you think about the streak, because uh, you think about the moment, and uh, if you excel in a moment, you don't have to worry about anything extraneous, like streaks, and how many championships you won, and live for the moment. That's what he teaches. That's what he wants you to do. Whatever you're doing, you're doing to your best ability every single moment. Because he said, I think he said it on Saturday or on Friday, it was like a national is like defeated by a car old guy. So it's true. I mean, you live once and whatever you do in that moment is what comes to that thing of what's happened before, what happens after. And last one, what was going through your mind as you prepared to play Princeton? My last college watch my fraternity. Um, I looked and pulled the car. Yeah, I think actually what went through my mind was we have the best support ever in college squash. We had the guys, parents who graduated last year from the team. They're from Brazil. They flew over to come and watch us play. Um, there's a kid who graduated in 2006, 2005, flew from Singapore to watch the match. Um, that's the stuff you think about. Like you look into the car and you see that. And I remember one of the seniors telling me, look into the car, you're never going to be able to have that view again. So, um, Looking at the crowd is something I did a lot. I didn't think about the match too much, but I had to win. So, Great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Go off and